Okay, all my friend, Bruce here. Well, today we're going to do two things to the LX-178. His name is Dave. And uh, we're going to change the oil on him, and we're going to uh, change the antifreeze. I read in the book that I have just enough antifreeze. I've got 2.6 liters of antifreeze mixed 50-50 for a combination of minus 38 Celsius, which is as cold as we get. So uh, let me get my drain pail and we'll see what we can come up with. I don't know what the bolt size is here. Can we get that in there? No! Hard, hard, maybe. I don't got anything deep and shallow. Well, I do. Will it hold it all? <laughs> uh, uh, I think I've been through this before. You gotta get it in, but you also have to get it out. Let's try it. Okay, that's not the right side. This one is 19 silly meters. No. So we'll go up a couple yet. I think the next one. 21 silly meters. Let me look at the book while this is draining and spilling all over the floor. Oh, it's gonna do. Nope, we're good. So while that's draining, I'm gonna look in the book. Service engine. Oh, she's close, eh? Sorry about this. Capacities, there we go. Crankcase without filter, 1.5 liters. Crankcase with filter, 1.8 liters. So that's perfect. So if we're careful, we won't overflow. Gonna pull on it a little bit. Pretty much. Cool! Alright. 1.8 liters. I'm going to use 1030. There's some kind of a there's some kind of a thing in there called John Deere 4 or W or something. But it's a it's a 1030 multi-grade oil they want in there. So now you guys get to watch me get this out of here. Uh -huh. Over to my five gallon pail of discarded oil. Can Bruce do it? Go, 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 go. It's probably hotter than a pistol, too, eh? Let's get the plug back in so we don't make any more mess. Oh, yeah, we gotta get the filter out, too. It is. Yeah. Come on. It's hot, eh? Ooh. Hotter than a 
can love it so. Good. And so. Now, got the oil filter off. Let's get this oil pan out of here if I can. Yes, don't dive shock. That's a Fram oil filter on there. $50 Canadian on Amazon for the John Deere AM whatever la 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 la. Or $8.79 Canadian over at the Parts Plus store. You guys be the judge. And, I, and there's guys online that tear the filters apart and they find out there's no difference in them. Sorry, Klaus. I'm using a Fran. I put 20 hours a year on this machine, but you can, you can, you can say something if you want to. So this this machine takes one point, uh, one point eight liters. So here's one. Oops, I spilled a little bit. Go figure, eh? Here's one liter, and I'm going to put one point six in on the the other, the rest of it. We'll start her up, warm it up, and then check the oil. And then we're going to change the antifreeze today, too. Isn't that exciting? So I'll just get the other point six here. We can go to point seven. Okay, there she is at point seven. Oh, I, need the, I need the funnel. I'll need that to drink beer later on. Now, it hasn't filled the filter yet, right? I'm not going to put any more in it than that. Uh, <laughs> Until we, we start her up and run her for a minute. Or two. Or three. Okay. Oil cap. That'll be a big, that's a big important thing. There, doesn't that look nice? I'm back. Please, now you can see where the oil filler is. So let's just run this for five minutes. The brake on, because it doesn't like to run without the brake. First, is the air filter hot and is it dripping? It doesn't appear to be. There's always a little residual oil there on that lip. Eh? All right, let's see if it's gone down at all. 1.7 might just do the trick, right? Now, I don't know if it's a Stick in and screw in, or oh yeah, there we are. I think that's it. I think it's full. 1.7 liters. Exactly full. Right to there to full. Air filter, oil filter is warm. We are done. 
Something told me that it was a little bit less. It must have been when I did it a few years ago. All right. Now. The antifreeze. So I'll show you the way the book is telling me to do this, and you guys be the judge, okay? First, you gotta let this off slowly. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Good. I don't mind that. That's the way it's supposed to do it. Now, Klaus wanted to see this because a lot of guys would just undo this hose and goose her into a pail, but I unfortunately for me, I read the instructions. So come with me. I'm going to put the cap on until uh, to keep the to keep the uh, pressure in the system, sort of. It's like putting your finger on the end of a straw. I'm going to grab some pliers. Maybe these, maybe these. And we're going to grab the little chair. We need a pail. And it says to undo this tube here and pour it into the pail. Can we do that? I don't know, man. Let's get the tube off first. Make some more mess. There's the clamp there. I got good pliers for that. Okay, Klaus, this is how the book says to do it. I'm going to put the lamp over here. And I'm going to use paper stacks. I think it's going to glurp out of there, to be honest with you. Because I can see just as much coming out of the block as I can see coming out of everywhere else. Liquid cool tractor, eh? Good, it said not much would come out. And it hasn't. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to get a... Can, can I do anything at all? To stop making a horrid mess. Now I'm going to undo the cap. Whoa! The cap for the radiator. Ouch! Oh, okay. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I guess they say till that's why they leave the cap on, eh? They say to leave the cap on. I'm stunned. But it's coming out. Let's hemostat that baby for a minute. I just need a break. Well, I guess we'll just keep going. There's just no good way of doing this. I think I would have undone the uh, rad hose on the other side. Now, I don't know what to do here. Mm, there we go. More coming out yet. That didn't work very well. I'm going to do something dumb now. I got a mess anyway, right? I could have put that in there. I could have turned the steering wheel. Why didn't they tell me to do that? I'm going to just blow in there. OK, 
Okay, you think she's empty? I would really like to take this clamp off the other side and find out. Okay, what the heck is going on here? I want to show you something. All right, this this is what I wanted to do before everything else went went to heck. I wanted to undo this this uh, clamp, right? And then grab a big pair of hose clamp pliers and undo this. If it comes, I'll do it. So that didn't go so well on that anyway, did it? Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Now let's just get the pail in case we have a... Uh... In case the feces impacts the rotational device, eh? Now, and I know, and I, know I should do this more with the tire, right? Yeah, I should have just done that, eh? Good. Now it says to fill this thing up with water and do it again. But I'm going to just leave this on here. Remember to do the other one before I fill it back up again, right? I'm just going to give that another tiny squirt. A lot of plastic in here now. Good. That should work. Now we're going to fill it up with antifreeze once I do that other clamp. Back over here. Right here. We're on the other side of the tractor and we're going to put this, this hose back on. It's original retainer. And then we're going to just take our pliers and put that clamp back on there. There, I think that's on. I knew every time, even on my vehicles, when I do a, anything to do with antifreeze or more oil than I know what to do with, I usually end up cussing. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put some antifreeze in this bad boy. Put 2.6 liters in there. I'm just going to fill that with antifreeze. 50% mix water, 50% antifreeze. And that's the strong stuff. So it should look should look something like that when we're done. Alright, I've got 2.6 liters of 50-50 antifreeze in here. And we're going to see how she goes. I might have to run the engine to make it all happen. When it goes glurp, I'll add some to the radiator holder hooser. Oh, it just went glurp. I'm going to put some in the, in the overflow container. Now that's close. Now we're going to run it and see if we can warm it up. <laughs> Brakes on. in here this afternoon. That's on. The rear hose is on. This hose is on. Okay. And it's in neutral, of course. Brakes on.
Almost. Okay. Follow the look. I followed the instructions. That was my biggest mistake. <laughs> what time is it? It is 4:30. Oh, that's perfect. Shoot, we're still recording. Okay, we're back. All I want to do is change the spark plugs now, and everything will be have changed. Well, everything will have been changed except the hydro, and they, they kind of there's no place to talk about how to change that. I do have a a dipstick. Uh, what do you call it? An oil extractor. There's the word, and we might do that. Oh, we're right back. All right, there's the old plug. There's pl there's the left, if you want to call it the left side, and here's the right side. They both look great, hey? Eh? Ooh, they're hot. I'll let you just look at this one. And these old ones were gapped at 28. And the new ones will be gapped at 28. I'm putting in an NGK this time, and you're hard to believe, but they are at J19LM. Can you believe that, eh? Yeah, that's good. One. Arr, what the heck? Packaging drives me crazy. And the second one. There it is. Wiggle it around a little bit. Centered. You have a look. Great. And it just goes in. Oh, I dropped the old one. That's cool. You just go right in here. Good, and we'll put the other one in. It's not hot, and we'll come back and just fire it up to make sure it runs after it. Eh? Okay, here we go. Oil's changed, new antifreeze, new spark plugs, grease job, repaired PTO, uh, greased and serviced deck, greased and serviced frame, and the blades have been uh, the blades have been looked after too. So let's just have a little start. Up. Make sure that both plugs work. I'll just keep an eye on that. It might go down because it might drink a little bit, little air holes in the in the heads or something like that. Thank you for this one, guys. I did it. Yay! And yes, folks, don't forget, I used 100% distilled water on that antifreeze. Somebody's going to say something. So the only fun part was spilling both the antifreeze and the oil. No, not fun. <laughs>